be happy, go lucky, be happy, get better taste, be happy, go lucky, get better taste today. Lucky's taste better. Friends, LSMFT, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Fine, mild, good tasting tobacco. There's no substitute for fine tobacco, and don't let anybody tell you different. Yes, Lucky's taste better. Because they're fine, mild, good tasting tobacco, goes into the cigarette proved the best made of all five principal brands. Let me repeat that. Proved the best made of all five principal brands. That's not an empty claim. That's a fact. Verified by leading laboratory consultants. For example, Crowling and Robertson of Richmond, Virginia, who report, It is our conclusion that Lucky Strike is the best made of these five major brands. So don't be misled by double talk. Remember the facts. Enjoy fine, mild, good-tasting tobacco in the cigarette that tastes better, Lucky Strike. So mild, so smooth, so firm and fresh, with better taste in every puff. When you buy cigarettes, remember, Lucky's taste better better. Be happy, go lucky, go lucky, strike today. The Lucky Strike program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Rochester, Dennis Day, the Sportsman Quartet, and yours truly, Don Wilson. gentlemen, tomorrow will be New Year's Eve, but Jack has invited the gang over today for his annual pre-New Year's celebration. So let's go out to Jack's home in Beverly Hills, where we find Rochester preparing for their arrival. When you say I beg your pardon, then I'll come back to you. <laughs> when you ask me to forgive you, I'll return. Rochester. Like the swallows at Serrano. <laughs> Rochester. Huh? Oh, hell, boss. Look, Rochester, I appreciate your singing my song, but my gang will be here soon. I want everything to be just right. How are things coming along? Fine, boss, fine. What about the eggnog you were going to prepare? Did you make it? Uh-huh. How do you fix that eggnog, Rochester? Just eggs and bourbon. Of course, I'm not much of a connoisseur of drinks, but that seems rather strange to me. I don't know. I wonder why anyone would ever think of mixing eggs and bourbon. It's psychological, boss. Psychological? Yeah, you see, the egg makes you think you're getting something very helpful. Uh-huh. And the bourbon makes that fact unimportant. <laughs> well, that's logical. By the way, Rochester, how much eggnog did you make? Well, I cut it pretty close. You're having five guests, and I figured if there's a little left over, I can always take it to a party I'm going to tomorrow night. Good, good. How much did you make? Fifty gallons. <laughs> Fifty gallons? Hey, Rochester, you've got a lot of... Someone at the door, I'll get it. So they took the wheelbarrow and went down... <laughs> Jack. Oh, hello, Mary. You're the first one here. Come on in. Say, Jack, how come you're having this party in the afternoon? Every other year, you've had it in the evening. Well, Mary, to tell you the truth, I have a date tonight. A date? With whom? Well, you know that pretty French girl, Helene Francois, you know, who was on my last television show? Oh, yes. Gee, she's beautiful. Yeah. Tonight, I'm going to take her dancing. We're going to Charlie Foy's nightclub. You know the supper club? You know what, Mary? This Helene Francois, she kind of likes me. Well, what makes you think so? Well, when I took her home in a cab, she kept snuggling up to me and whispering in my ear, Vos chavaux, say shot. Uh, vos chavaux, say shot? Yeah, I'll have to look that up. You don't have to. Why, what does it mean? Your toupee is slipping. <laughs> Oh, well, at least she cares. <laughs> I'll say one thing, Jack. She's a whole lot nicer than that girl you used to go out with, that, uh, that Gladys Zabisco. Now, wait a minute, Mary. Gladys Zabisco is a swell girl. She may not be the most beautiful girl in the world, but she's got a nice figure. 
I know, but does she have to walk that way? Mary, that's not her fault. She's nearsighted, and she anticipates the curb in the middle of the block. <laughs> so don't be critical. Now, come on, Mary, how about a glass of eggnog? Oh, sure, Jack, I... Uh, wait a minute. Who made that eggnog? Rochester. Uh-uh. Why, what's the matter? Well, last New Year's, I tasted some of Rochester's eggnog, and the next thing I knew, I was at the Rose Bowl. Oh, you saw the game? Saw it, nothing. I was playing left tackle for Michigan. <laughs> oh, stop kidding. How come on one... Dr- I'll get it. Hello? Hello, Mr. Benny. This is Dennis. What time does the party start? Three o'clock. Oh, what time is it now? About half past one. Oh, then I guess I won't have enough time to shave. Dennis, why should it take you an hour and a half to shave? I haven't got the fuzz yet. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake. It takes me three months to get a five o'clock shadow. All right, all right. Now hurry over here. Goodbye. Goodbye. What a silly kid. Uh, Jack, was that Dennis on the telephone? Yeah, it was me. <laughs> Dennis, how'd you get here so quickly? Oh, I was on the extension in the kitchen. <laughs> oh. I would have been here sooner, but I stopped to get a Coke out of the machine. <laughs> well, Dennis, how about having a glass of eggnog? Oh, boy, eggnog. That's for... Wait a minute. Who made it? Rochester. Uh-uh. <laughs> Why not? Last year, I tasted some of Rochester's eggnog, and the next thing I knew, Mary was playing in the Rose Bowl. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know. Now, look, kids, as soon as we... Come in! Oh, hello, Don. Hello, Jack. Hello, Don. Hi, Mary. Dennis. Hello. Come on in. Don. Don. (laughs) I wish somebody would take him out in a wheelbarrow. Don, Don, would you like a drink? Now, wait a minute, Jack. First, I want to show you something. What? Look. Don, you're wearing the cufflinks I gave you for Christmas. Isn't that nice? Don, you can take the card off. Everybody knows who gave them to you. Well, I'm not taking it off. I want to make sure people know what a cheap gift Jack gave me. (laughs) What? Jack, I've been with you 18 years. 18 years of loyalty and devotion. 18 years without missing one program, and you show your appreciation with a pair of lousy dollar 98 cent cufflinks. <laughs> when? <laughs> Talk about appreciation. What are you complaining about? That certainly wasn't such a hot gift you sent me. Uh, what did he send you, Jack? A gold watch, a wristwatch, yet. Yeah. What's wrong with a gold wristwatch? What's wrong with it? You walk down the street wearing an expensive thing like that, somebody sees it, hits you over the head, takes it away from you, and your money, too. (laughs) That's what's wrong with it. Anyway, Don, let's shake hands and forget the whole thing. Okay, Jack. I'm sorry. I lost my temper. That's all right, Don. By the way, would you like a glass of eggnog? Eggnog? Say, that's one of my favorite... Wait a minute. Who made it? (laughs) Rochester. Uh Uh-uh. What's the matter with Rochester's eggnog? Last year I tasted some, and the next thing I knew, Mary and Dennis tackled me in the Rose Bowl. <laughs> everybody comes in with the same... Come in! Hi, Jackson. Hello, everybody. Happy New Year! Hello, Phil. Happy New Year, Phil. Happy New Year. Yeah. Phil. Happy New Year. Hey, Jackson, what's the idea of switching this party to a daylight affair? Don't you trust us with the silverware? <laughs> That's not it, Phil. I'm going to a nightclub tonight. I got a date. With a girl? <laughs> Well, what do you think, a horse? <laughs> Could be, oats are cheaper than orchids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harris, you may not be Montgomery Cliff, but you found your place in the sun. Phil, <laughs> well, you can stop with those jokes and find your place under the table. <laughs> I even put a pillow there. Now, would you like a glass of eggnog? Eggnog? Now you're talking, Bob Desley. Hey, wait a minute. Who made that eggnog? Rochester. Lead me to it. (laughs) (laughs) Rochester.
Rochester, will you pour a glass of eggnog for Mr. Harris, please? Yes, sir. Here you are, Mr. Harris. Thank you, Rog. Uh, uh, hey, tell me, Rog, uh, how do you make this egg now? I use one egg to five quarts of bourbon. <laughs> Check. Well, um, here's down the hatch. <laughs> That egg was fresh. <laughs> it's fresh, it's fresh. Well, here goes. Well, Phil, how do you like it? Phil, how do you like it? Hey, Jackson, what are you doing here at the Rose Bowl? <laughs> what? Come on, wheelbarrow. I mean, stand for it. I'm not at the Rose Bowl yet. Rochester, pour me a ticket. Now, Dennis... You want me to go in, Coach? What? I say, you want me to go in, Coach? Yeah, yeah. Report to the referee and sing a song. Okay. Well, Dennis. Well, kids, I have to leave soon to take uh, uh, Helene Francois to Charlie Foy's. Would any of you like to join us? Well, thanks, Jack, but I can't make it. No, me neither. I'd like to go, Jack. Good, good. How about you, Dennis? Oh, sure, fine. I'll take Mary. Okay. Say, Mary, will you give me a kiss when I take you home? Well, I, I don't know, Dennis. I'll think about it. Well, think fast, sister. I ain't bl blowing my dough for nothing. <laughs> you were blowing that line, though. <laughs> Jackson, what are you going out tonight for? Why don't you wait till tomorrow night? That's New Year's Eve. No, no, I never go out on New Year's Eve. Say, boss, why don't you do something different this year and go out? No, I'm going to do what I always do and spend it at home. New Year's Eve at home? Yeah, at 5 minutes to 12, I tiptoe up to Mr. Benny's room, wake him up, he blows a horn, falls back on the pillow, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Barry? 39, he says. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, look, kids, I got to leave now and pick up Miss Francois. Come on, Mary, Dennis, let's go. Uh... 
Yeah, I like it here at Charlie Foy's, don't you, Mary? Yeah, but, Jack, you'll never get a table. It's too crowded. Yeah, look at those people in that little room. Boy, are they jammed together. That's the coat room. Those are coats. <laughs> oh, I wondered why they didn't have their pants on. <laughs> never mind. I'll get a table. Come on, Helene. Uh, Voulez-vous accompany moi un table? Oh, l'ambiance de la salle est très intéressante. Je suis si heureuse que vous m'ayez invité. Now, let's see. Where's the head waiter? Oh, garçon. Garçon. How do you do? <laughs> Are you the head waiter? Uh, no. I'm wearing this flower in my lapel because I'm going to be afloat in the rose parade. <laughs> Don't be sarcastic. I'd like to get a table for four. Well, thank heavens you didn't ask for five. Why? I wouldn't sit with you for a million dollars. <laughs> now cut that out and get us a table. All right, follow me. Come on, kids. Here you are, folks. Say, this is a pretty good table at that, isn't it, Helene? C'est très gentil, chérie. Et nous pouvons voir le spectacle. Oh, oui, oui. Gee, what a crowd. Wait a minute, where's Dennis? Uh, right behind you, ma chérie. <laughs> well, sit down and let's order. Say, pardon me, folks, pardon me. <laughs> Have you seen my wife? <laughs> no, no, we haven't seen her. Oh, well, thank you. And a hot pinnacle. <laughs> the same to you. Well, something's going to happen here. Happy New Year, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jesse Block, your master of ceremonies for the evening. Now, now in just a minute, we're going to have some dancing. But while the orchestra is setting up, I've got a little joke for you. Listen to this, Helene. He's going to tell a joke. <laughs> Funny thing happened here in the club last night. You know, this is a pretty ritzy place. And last night, I saw a waiter carrying something on a flaming sword. So I asked him what it was, and he said, a customer, he only left a dime tip. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that was a pretty good joke, wasn't it, Mary? What joke? I was here when the fire department came in and squirted water on you. <laughs> oh, stop. Are you having a good time, Helene? Oh, oui. C'est la première fois que je vois un cabaret américain. C'est si différent des cabarets parisiens. Mais il me plaît beaucoup. Et je vous remercie mille fois. Oh, really? Uh... <laughs> What'd she say, Jack? I don't know. Something about how badly she feels that Joe DiMaggio is retiring. <laughs> what? I don't know. Well, I guess we're going to have dancing before the show starts. Hey, Mary, you want to dance with me? Oh, sure, Dennis. Gee, you're a swell dancer, Mary. Well, thanks, Dennis, but don't hold me so tight. Okay. Say, Libby, have you ever thought about getting married? What? My mother will up my allowance. Dennis, stop being silly. If you turn me down, I'll kill myself. <laughs> well, give me a little time to think it over. Okay, but not too long. There are a lot of dames nuts about me. I know, I know. Oh, yeah, name one. <laughs> Dennis, look, just be quiet and dance. Helene, you know, I'm so glad you're with me tonight. I am glad too, Cherie. You know, this is the first time I... Oh, Elaine, there's a fellow coming over the table who seems to know you. Where? Oh, oui. Ah, oh, bonjour, mon cher ami. Elaine, oh, vous ici. Je ne vous avais pas vu depuis que nous étions ensemble sur la Côte d'Azur. Comment allez-vous, ma chère? Merveilleusement. C'est si bon de vous revoir. Il faut prendre un rendez-vous. Je serai ici seulement pour quelques jours, vous savez. Alors, téléphonez-moi. Je vous donnerai mon numéro plus tard. Oui, Et entendu. Nous nous entendu. Au revoir, ma chère. Au revoir. Elaine, uh, who was that? Maxi Rosenblum. Maxi Rosenblum? Oh, I didn't recognize him. The beret covers up his cauliflower ear. Imagine meeting him. Find me, folks. Find me. Well, have you seen my wife? No, no, we haven't. Oh, well, thank you. And a happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh, hello, look, there's the quartet getting up. Look at they're going to sing. Ask me how do I 
feel, ask me now that we're cozy and clinging. Well, sir, all I can say is if I were a bell, I'd be ringing. From the moment we kissed tonight, that's the way I've just got to behave. Boy, if I were a lamp, I'd light. Or if I were a banner, I'd wave. Ask me, how do I feel now that New Year will be here tomorrow? Well, sir, all I can say, if I needed some money, I'd borrow. And if I were a watch, I'd start popping my spring. Or if I were a bell, I'd go ding dong, ding dong, ding. Ask me, why do I choose Lucky Strike for my real smoking pleasure? Well, sir, all I can say, it's the one cigarette that I treasure. From the moment I took one puff, it was Lucky's for little old me. There's a cigarette, sure enough, that is round and as firm as can be. That's why millions of men always say it's for Lucky's they're yearning. So if I were a match boy, I know that I'd surely be burning. And if I were a cigarette, here's what I'd be. I'd be happy-go-lucky like L.S.M.F.D. Okay, sit down, kids. We better order something to eat. Oh, waiter. Waiter. Yes? I think I'll have a ham sandwich. Yes, sir. Uh, Helene. Helene, what do you have? Oh, alors, euh, je vais décider. Je commencerai avec un potage à l'arène, et puis une omelette aux champignons, alors une solmeunière, une côtelette de veau garni, et une salade verte. What was that? <laughs> She said she wants mustard on her sandwich. <laughs> oh, waiter, change my order. I think I'll have crab Louis. Dennis, uh, tell him what you want. I'll have spaghetti Louis. <laughs> spaghetti Louis? I thought that was the waiter's name. Of course not. It is too. <laughs> Louis? You know, spaghetti. <laughs> I'm just stringing you along. No. <laughs> what a crazy guy. Say, pardon me, folks, pardon me. Uh, have you seen my wife? No, no, we haven't seen your wife. Well, if you ever do, you'll know why I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Say, Mary, before we eat, suppose you and I have the next... <laughs> Oh, go away. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before we start our gala floor show, I'd like to say that we're honored tonight by having with us a very famous celebrity. Oh, I wish they wouldn't do that. <laughs> now, this gentleman, whom you all love, is a very popular star of stage, screen, radio, and now television. Mary, give me your comb. Here you are. <laughs> So I take great pleasure in presenting to you that popular idol of millions, Rodney Dangerfield! Here's your call, Mary. <laughs> well, you've all seen Mr. Dangerfield in those outstanding Western pictures, and with a little encouragement, maybe we can get him to say a few words. Thank you, folks. Thank you kindly. It sure is a thrill and a pleasure to meet so many of my fans. What a ham. And I'd like to say that my next picture, Covatis Goes West, <laughs> is going to be even better than my last picture, The Cactus Blooms at Midnight. Stole that from me. And now, friends, I'd like to introduce my co-star who's right here at the table with me. Take a bow, Desert Faint. 
how do you like that? He even brought his horse. <laughs> Helene, give me your handkerchief. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, you folks didn't come to hear me talk all night, so I just uh, want... Pardon me, Mr. Dangerfield, but would you please put your autograph on this menu? Why, certainly, miss. <laughs> So, folks, I just want to wish you a very happy and prosperous New Year. Imagine introducing a ham like Rodney Dangerfield. Come on, kids, let's get out of here. But, Jack, we ordered food. I don't care what we order. Let him give it to the horse. I'm going home. Come on, Helene, I wouldn't stay here Ladies for... and gentlemen, we have another celebrity with us tonight. None other than that very famous star, Jack Benny. Well... Are you going to stay now, Jack? Certainly. What are you mad about? <laughs> now, sit down, Helene. Ladies and gentlemen, master of ceremonies, my worthy colleague, Mr. Dangerfield, and... <laughs> Why don't you turn your head? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen... For a moment, I want you to forget that I'm Jack Benny, that scintillating star of stage screen radio, and now television. I want to talk to you as one of your friends. I want to take this opportunity to wish all of you and yours, and everybody all over the world, good health and happiness throughout the year. And now I'd like to tell you just a about my next show. Be happy, go lucky, get better taste today. Lucky's taste better. So mild, so smooth, so firm and fresh, with better taste in every puff. Yes, friends, Lucky's taste better. Because their fine, mild, good tasting tobacco goes into the cigarette proved the best made of all five principal brands. Let me repeat that. Proved the best made of all five principal brands. That's not an empty claim. That's a fact verified by leading laboratory consultants. For example, Foster D. Snell of New York City, who report, In our opinion, the properties measured are all important factors affecting the taste of cigarette smoke. We conclude that Lucky Strike is the best made of the five major brands. And don't forget, LSMFT... Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Fine, mild, good-tasting tobacco. There's no substitute for fine tobacco. And don't let anybody tell you different. So don't be misled by double talk. Remember the facts. Enjoy fine, mild, good-tasting tobacco in the cigarette that tastes better. Lucky Strike. When you buy cigarettes, remember, Lucky's taste better. <laughs> Happy, go lucky, go lucky, strike today. Ladies and gentlemen, soon it will be 1952. And I would like to wish all of you prosperity and happiness for the coming year. But let us all hold foremost the thought that 1952 will bring better understanding between nations and peace to the world. Happy New Year, folks. Transcribe, this is the CBS Radio Network.